Well, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of gymnastics, at first I would like to thank you for the invitation and to be inducted in this International Gymnastics Hall of Fame. I would like to thank Nadia, Paul, Bart, and all the other representatives of the board. But uh, we have a proverb in Germany, and I don't know if I translate it correctly, but if not, I would like to ask Bart and translate it to German. <laughs> it says, everything has been said, but not by everybody. So I try to find out if, I, if there is something left I can tell you. Um, I'm really honored to be a member, a new member, of uh, the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame. But in the beginning of my sports career, it didn't start out very promising. Because when I got to school in Germany, it's normal that you get a medical check. And on this medical check, the doctors found out that I have flat feet, bandy legs, and hanging shoulders. <laughs> which led to the point that I had to go to a special school service called gymnastics. <laughs> and from that moment on, I didn't want to do this sports at all, because only the fat people, the non-sportive people, and girls had to go to this sports. Well, the, the matter with the girls changed after a while. But uh, actually, gymnastics was that sport I did last of all sports I did. But then, in the, my club, there was a butcher with big arms. And at the same time, in the early 60s, there were gladiator movies in German cinemas. And this is, I was impressed by. And so I thought, if you go to the gymnastics club where this butcher also worked with his big muscles, then you might find your way to Hollywood. <laughs> okay, I got the big muscles in my upper arms, but um, I didn't make it to Hollywood except for 1984, but at that time my gymnastics career has come to an end already. Anyway, I started gymnastics, and it has been shown in the movie, in the film, uh, with a person who was 60 years older than me with his own apparatus in his garden. And he took me to the German Junior Championship, and then I moved to Frankfurt. And uh, within the years, I had the opportunity to go to many countries. I had the pleasure to spend half a year in Japan at Nittai University. I had the opportunity to spend for half a year at Seattle, Washington, at University of Washington. And uh, I had the chance to spend also for two months, uh, to spend two months in Moscow and Leningrad in 1977. And uh, I have to admit, the sports career contributed a lot to me. And after I finished my career in sports, I tried to figure out what was the result of all this. And finally, I got to the point that uh, sports is a teacher for life. Because what is it what you take out of sports? At first, you want to be successful. And this successfulness has to be underlined with a certain amount of discipline. And discipline doesn't mean to me to have blinkers at your eyes and only see your goal. Discipline to me means that you can also celebrate a little, like we do tonight. You can drink a night through. You also can stay a night alive, along with friends. But if the next day, 8 o'clock, is your date, then you have to be at this date and not in the bed. 
This is one thing. The next, you learn to be flexible. You can be ready for your competition if necessary in the morning, 8 o'clock. And you have to do it sometimes also at night, 11 o'clock. You can prepare yourself to be in peak shape at a certain time, not two hours before and not two days after. You learn to be a member of a team. You learn to listen what your coach says and to transfer this to movement. And you learn to get along with defeats, to go back to the peak where you have been. And what is even more difficult, to get along with victories, not to soar into space, but to stay somehow at the bottom. And uh, when you consider this with your own life or own lives, you will see that everybody of you, no matter if he was a gymnast or if he was in quotation marks only uh, living an ordinary life, that everybody of you is an elite class sportsman because everything that I have mentioned before is a part of our lives. And if you use this in economy or in politics or no matter in which part or section of life, it's always the same. But what uh, honors me a lot is that I can be a member of uh, this International Gymnastics Hall of Fame because I was not a real talented gymnast. People like Harry Birke say my press handstand on rings took as long as the rest of the routine. <laughs> Other judges other judges said, my tumbling could only be seen when they lifted the carpet. <laughs> but anyway, gymnastics brought very much to me. Meanwhile, I'm the vice president, as uh, Bart uh, said as well, for the German Olympic um, Sports Association. And my life was dedicated to sports and sports gave a lot, a lot back to me. But I feel home in sports. I feel comfortable in sports. But what exceeds this is the gymnastics family. In my heart, I was beginning as a bad gymnast, as I mentioned from my medical check. But now, this uh, virus of gymnastics is very deeply in my heart. And I enjoyed to come here to Oklahoma City, which is actually from Berlin, not a direct way. But um, I suggest, uh, Bart, uh, your influence or Paul's influence should be strong enough to find a nonstop way from Berlin to <laughs> Oklahoma once. And, but not only, but only, not only if we um, have this uh, direct uh, connection, I am sure and I'm very positive that this was not the last time I came to Oklahoma City because, because there are so many friends that I've met in former times. I didn't mention to you that uh, Shigeru Kazamatsu and Fred Turov, we started in 1990, 1990, uh, 1970 in Ljubljana. We, the three of us, were alternates for our teams. And uh, later on, in uh, 1974, Shigeru Kazamatsu was on the high bar final, and he did a favor to me and dropped out. Uh, this is why I had the chance to become the world champion. In uh, 1978, then uh, he changed it, and he became world champion. I took second. Um, so there are so many friends that I've met today, tonight, and uh, you feel comfortable, you feel well in a surrounding like this. And this is why I thank you very much 
for the invitation. I'm thrilled and I'm honored. And I promise you that I was not the last time here in Oklahoma City. I'm looking forward for the next one already. Thank you very much and have a nice evening.